What's up, everybody? I'm Kai Kelly. We're out here in Spokane, Washington. It was a long drive from our house, like 40-something hours. Uh, but we're here. The weather's nice. The track's nice. Uh, a lot of fans here already, so it's going to be a good day. And I brought my new car. First time I brought it out. What it is, is a 1984 Camaro. It's a third gen, just like I've always had with my brand. And uh, really and truly, that's the only reason we went back to the car, because uh, just everybody wanted to see me in a third gen Camaro. I kind of wanted to see me in a third gen Camaro. So over a couple years, we built this car, and now it's here, it's ready. We made a bunch of test passes, it hauls ass. So uh, we're really looking to do good here. So we got four races left before No Prep Elite starts. Uh, right now, I'm sitting about number seven. It's not where I like to be, but I feel comfortable not being below 16. So I think I should be in the top 16, even if I completely shank the next four races. But what I'm trying to do right now is, is get up to number one. pretty excited about this weekend. It's, uh, we got a brand new car and we really got a lot of confidence in it so we're excited to see how it goes. We went uh, prep pro mod racing with it last so we had to kind of undo all that so our first test pass might not be great but I'm pretty sure the second test pass is going to be right on track and uh, we're looking forward to winning. Like We got a car to win now and we're here to win. red Kai the car shuts off right when he lets off the trans brake button I'm sure maybe it broke a blow belt or something Kept it off the wall though. Nice job, Sean. Woo! Car all the way sideways. Not sure if maybe got into something out here in this lane. Wow, y'all, that was an abrupt turn. Phew! It looks like it, but I don't know. All right, let's clear that right lane real quick. Holy shit! Take that. What the fuck? That car don't do that. Yeah, that was weird. Try to crash the car, I guess. You know, it is what it is. I, I don't. Normally, when that happens, I don't worry about. Because I know what it is. I, I'll say something like, look, man, hey, we was trying to go way faster than the track will handle. That wasn't really the case right here. Uh, I don't believe that our tune-up was too hot, but if there was no oil and everybody else made it down after I did, then our tune-up is too hot. We put new heads on the car. We freshened the motor. And the, the old one was uh, honestly had oil everywhere. Every cylinder was leaking oil. Uh, so I don't know if we're just making more power than what we were before, but that tune-up that was in the car shouldn't be too hot for that track. The track's pretty good, so we're gonna we're gonna knock it in the head a little bit and go out and make our other one and see what happens. We made a good pass. Everybody wants to be a part of it. It's getting hot in her. I win this race today, and I'm sitting at number one. Well, we are in beautiful Spokane, Washington. You know what? You can't ask for a better day, right? I would say this is a good day. This is great. Look at the weather. Like, the wind is just slightly blowing. It's beautiful. It's not too hot. Uh, anyways, let's take a little walk. Let's walk on down. This track, as you can see, it goes off into nothingness down there. Uh, I've never been here before, 
This is a pretty nice track. It's got the nice concrete bleachers. Uh, it's going to be packed here later on today for sure. Uh, but look, we are on the 10th race of the season. All right. So that means we have got four more, right? Yeah, four more? This one. So four. All right. So that means we've got four races left before the no prep elite starts. All right. And what that means is there's four races left for these drivers to make sure they're in the top 16 in points. Because as you know, only the top 16 are going to be able to participate in that no prep elite series which is a series that pays $150,000 to win. So there are drivers that will start their surge up to make their way into that top 16. Some drivers like Nate Saylor has found himself below that 16 cutoff. Also Dave, uh, Daddy Dave, below that as well. Uh, we have a driver that is debuting a new car here in Spokane, Kai Kelly. He has decided mid-season to change cars, so he has gone back to his roots in the third gen Camaro. Uh, and it's fast, y'all. Let's see if he has some success down a unprepared surface here at Spokane. Also, let's talk about the point standings right now. Giuseppe has been having a great year. Currently sitting number one in points. We've got Robin Roberts sitting number two. He actually won the last race we were at. And in number three is going to be Murder Nova also having a breakout season as well. So those three drivers doing awesome. But you also can't count out Ryan Martin, who is still in the hunt at number four. We'll see how it goes. I'm expecting some extremely fast passes here today. Let's see who wins this weekend and who can push themselves into the top 16. Doc said hi too. Good hi, job. Doc. Good job, Doc. Look, folks, we have got a big program ahead of us this weekend. And I, I'll tell you that that individual championship this year is worth $150,000. Yeah. On Friday, we allow the drivers to do two test passes, and then we go into what's called a bracket setting round. The bracket setting round is one round of racing. If you win, you are in the winner's bracket for tomorrow. The winner's bracket tomorrow will race for $30,000, $30,000, and also points towards that individual championship. If you lose tonight, in your one race. Well, that makes your journey just a little bit harder to get in that winner's bracket tomorrow, so it's not guaranteed. So the objective is tonight for these drivers, they gotta win one race to find themselves in the winner's bracket and racing for that $30,000 tomorrow, all right? What's that say? Is it a good one? It's a good one. All right, uh, well, we've already done our chip draw. Um, there's some interesting matches coming up. I think the most important slash exciting is number one in points versus number two in points in the bracket setting round. So that means one of those drivers potentially may not make the winner's bracket and race for the winner's bracket points. So that is huge. That gives, at least opens the door for drivers right below them to make up some ground or potentially pass the, that one driver that doesn't make it to the show tomorrow, if that happens, of course. So that is probably the most important, most exciting race that I would like to see here in this bracket setting round. And that's all we got. Let's go racing. Let's see how, how it goes. All right, let's do it. Definitely want to find your way into the winner's bracket. So this race here is one round, but it is very important for those drivers. Here we go, next pair coming at you right now over in the left lane, that's gonna be Kayla Morton. Going up against Murder Nova. Murder Nova here in the right lane. This right here gonna be a good race, both cars pro-charged. Mustang versus the Nova, here we go.
Looked like she treated him. She looked like she treated him pretty good. She did her. Yeah, started wiggling. She did her job. All right, so Murder Nova gonna join Disco Dean there in the winner's bracket. I see it. Frank got destroyed right there. We ended up uh, right kicking here. a rod out on the motor. It came out the side of the pan here. Worst case scenario, we don't have enough time to make it. Um, so we're gonna miss this round against Robin. We're gonna have to try to dry a lucky chip, our only chance to get in to get some points for tomorrow. If not, we're gonna have to do the loser bracket, just not three points around. We're gonna change the motor. We got our spare motor. We're gonna pull that out right now, put it in. Just don't know what happened. The rod bearing, I mean, we've been running this thing pretty good. As far as right now, I got the rod out, didn't spin a rod bearing. Looks like just the bolt let go. Just a rod failure. Doesn't look tune up related. All the spark plugs look good. No, no hole in the piston. Right now, it just looks like the bottom of the rod bolt pulled out and uh, ended our night tonight. And uh, we'll get ready, get it ready, and work all night and get it ready for tomorrow. That's why we can't have nice things. Eight up, two down, spin out. All right, folks, so this is going to be a single for Robin Roberts. Giuseppe unable to make the call. So Giuseppe, number one in points, unable to make the call here in the bracket setting round. All right, so Robin Roberts right down through there. Nice pass. Go into the winner's bracket there. Nice job. Tough break for Giuseppe, unfortunately. So at the end of the night, the field is set. Number one in points, Giuseppe is going to have to fix his car and then do his best in the loser's bracket. While Sean, Robin, Ryan, and Justin get a chance to catch up to him. Check back to see how it all plays out.